Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to take a look at the Protractor tool. Here we go. Okay, the Protractor tool can be found under Tools and Protractor. It, of course, can be added to the toolbar. It is not part of the default toolbar. It is part of the big toolbar, though. So if I click on View, Tool Palettes on Mac, Toolbars on Window, and turn on the large tool set, you can see right here, right under tape measure, is Protractor. When you click Protractor, you'll get the little Protractor icon control thing. Uh, same thing you would see when we were doing something like drawing, drawing an arc or rotating. Um, so there's two things that this tool will allow you to do. One is to measure dimension or uh, measure angles, so you can see what an angle is, and place guides at specific angles. So let's start simple. Let's, let's measure this, this uh, corner right here. Three clicks to measure. So I'm going to click one to pick the, the origin. That's the middle of the angle. And then I'm going to click on one line. And as I start to move, you can actually see, look right down here. See that angle right there? It's going to tell me what it is. So if I hover over this line right here, I don't even have to click, just hover over it. It tells me that is 90 degrees. I'm going to hit the escape key. Um, let's check a different one. Let's say how far this is from, from 90 degrees. So I'm going to click the origin. I'm going to drag my mouse out, click on the red axis, and then as I move my cursor up, it's going to snap to that line and tell me that it's 66.8 degrees. So you get the idea. It's pretty easy to uh, see what specific dimensions are. Just three clicks, one, two, three, and now I know that that is 36 0.8 degrees off of parallel with the red axis. Uh, the other thing I was saying was guidelines. So what you can do is if I want to put a guideline at 45 degrees along here, what I can do is click this point, click my first line, that's my, my reference line, and now as I start to come up like this, this is where I could tell it exactly what I want to, where exactly I want to put it. So if I want it at 45 degrees, I type 45, hit enter, and I'll throw a guideline in exactly 45. The other thing you could do is I don't have to type a dimension there. I can actually pick and come up to maybe where does it intersect this point or where does it intersect this point? And I can click those two lines to get me a guideline between those two points. Um, the guideline creation can actually be toggled off. If you look down at the bottom, it's gonna say option to toggle create guides on Mac. I believe it's control to toggle create guides on Windows. If I toggle that off, then really there's nothing else that it does. So I'll go ahead and hit it to turn it off. When I, when I, when I toggle that off, all it's gonna do is give me dimensions. It's not gonna actually let me draw the line. So if you have it toggled off, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be able to check a dimension but not draw the line. Um, but the main thing that it does is, so checking the dimensions, and then creating those guides at specific angles is kind of what the protractor does. So that was a short and sweet one. That was very simple. Protractor is one of those tools that really, it does exactly what it, you think it does and that's, that's it. That's what it does. So if you've ever had an issue where you're trying to get guidelines in at weird angles or something like that, that's the tool for you. Tape measure is great at getting those straight angles that are parallel to existing lines, but if you need something else, like where, where do two points meet and cross? You can do that with a protractor tool and guides. Hopefully you like that. If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.